My name is Sarah Vitti and I work in communications for nonprofits. My history with mental health is that um, I would say I'm more of an ally to people with mental health um, issues. My brother, uh, who uh, was a year and a half older than me, grew up uh, with severe depression and anxiety issues. And more recently, um, I have been experiencing uh, depression and anxiety issues as well. So our father died when we were 17, when I was 17 and he was 18 and after that his depression and anxiety started spiraling and that's when things got, started getting really bad for him. So it wasn't until uh, our early adult life where he he started really coming to us for support. I didn't really ever know what was going on inside of him until he started talking about like I'm really depressed and I my anxiety is so debilitating that I, I can't function in the real world. I feel like I can't function. Unfortunately, he passed away last year. Um, he uh, started using drugs uh, later in life when other kinds of medications weren't working. When I look back on it now, I definitely was dealing with depression, but I didn't know that at the time and I didn't talk to anybody about it. So. Now that my brother passed away, and this is the second big loss in my life, I sort of feel, um, I sort of feel like I'm much more in tune with everything that's going on inside of me, and I'm addressing it now for the first time in my life. I go to therapy. I think therapy is so helpful in in learning how to navigate life in so many different ways, whether it's through grief or not. Living with with grief or living with any traumatic experience. Um, or any kind of mental illness in, in general is you still have to go on with your life. Like time keeps going forward and even though it feels like you're still standing still and so I think a lot of times when people are grieving, especially people who are grieving family members, everyone in the family is sort of grieving in a different way and they're at a different stage in their life and for me with the loss of my brother, I've invested a lot of energy up front taking care of my mom and being her emotional uh, support and uh, and also worrying about my other brother a bit because he's very sort of stoic and you know for the last year or so I spent worrying about them so much that my grief is sort of just now hitting me so I guess what I'm trying to say is like focus on yourself everybody needs support but you can't give support to other people you can't really be there for other people if you don't if you're not in a good place yourself especially having lost a sibling um, just because siblings are so close and it's sort of an unexpected loss. Oftentimes you'll feel guilty for feeling happy and you shouldn't. There was a day last week where I just literally felt like the like my world like everything was just hell. I let it last like the rest of the week because I just couldn't get myself out of it. I couldn't get myself to to understand that this feeling will pass. <laughs> um, and this week has been okay so far. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I mean, just knowing that the world is not over just because you're feeling like shit. It's just really important to rem remind yourself that, that your, these feelings will pass, that um, everything in the world is not bad just because something bad happened to you, and you are okay.